Top Gun Maverick does in 2022 what no sequel has done in the past 10 years. And that one thing is just to actually be a good movie. I think Maverick was better than the first film in many ways. Making a good film in 2022 for the movie industry is like kryptonite to Superman. It's absolutely deadly. Now, Top Gun Maverick brings a breath of fresh air into a seemingly trash-filled movie industry. In the world where every movie has to have an agenda. In a world where every movie has to send a message. In a world where every movie has to check a diversity box. Maverick says, screw all of that. We're going to make a film for the old fans while also being intriguing to new ones. After five delays, Maverick finally hit the theaters on May 27th, 2022 with record-breaking Memorial Day weekend numbers, making it 2022's first blockbuster film of this year. This film nailed every aspect of what makes or what creates a solid film. When your writers care about the movie, when your writers care about the characters, and in this case of Maverick, when your writers care about the original film and the source material, the finished product will always be better for it. The writing was not overly complicated by any means, but there was a journey to be had narratively speaking. This is a popcorn flick through and through. The opening scene still kept that 80s vibe as well as using the same music for the opener from the first film and that nostalgia hit comes right off the bat. Pete Mitchell as a character stayed intact from the original film. He grew as a character throughout dealing with the loss of Goose, his rear flightman. The film does a good job at bringing all the tension and excitement from the first film into the sequel. The jets, the dogfights, and the action are all there. The chemistry from the cast was also great. Miles Teller does an absolute great job and he was an absolute great cast for his role as Rooster. And without any spoilers, he definitely looks the part. The sequel also added a bit of humor in the mix while actually making it fit to the story and also moving the story and the plot forward. Kelly McGinnis didn't reprise a role as Charlie, who from the first film was Maverick's love interest, but in the sequel, we got a new love interest, Penny, who was played by Jennifer Connelly. Although Penny was never in the original, she was referenced twice during the film. Once when Maverick was being reprimanded in the beginning of the film, and a second time during the Great Balls of Fire diner scene. So technically, she's not a new character, but she is now being formally introduced to the audience. The chemistry between Cruz and Connolly was there from the beginning, and their relationship was actually believable. This movie was also shot in a way where the tension and the flight scenes felt very immersive, topped off by the actor's performances, really selling every bit of the tension. Top Gun Maverick was the first big blockbuster of the year, and it deserves every single praise coming its way. There's not much I would change about this movie, if um, anything at all. This was no doubt a perfect sequel in the franchise with an already great original film. The film brought back so many things that made the 80s films so great and pretty much stood the test of time as we speak. This definitely is a film that really showed homage to its original and we definitely need more like it. Even after watching the movie, I had this huge urge of excitement to want to go back and watch the original film again. And that's saying something because most sequels as of late have been totally a disaster and a disappointment. Fun fact, the real life Top Gun school finds its aviators $5 every time they quote a line from the 1986 iconic film. This was explained by a former US Navy fighter, Guy Buss Snowgrass, in his book called Top Gun's Top 10 Leadership Lessons from the Cockpit. Quote, so it is part of our bylaws that if someone overly references the movie, it could be a direct quote or it could be something that is really close to the quote. That's an automatic $5 fine and it is definitely enforced. And you are expected to pay right then and there. 
you are expected to pull out your wallet and pay the $5 on the spot, end quote. Top Gun Maverick gets it right, and it's definitely recommended with a solid nine out of 10. That's it for the video. Um, I really enjoy the film and I do hope that we get more like it. And I really do think that Hollywood may be headed in the good direction or the right direction with Maverick. Um, but that's it. My name's Lincoln. This is the RPG show. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.